right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. All right, YouTube is going too. Glory, search for Holy Spirit worship on YouTube. Subscribe to that channel and share. In the book of Psalm 80, um, Psalm 83, it says, Restore us, O God, cause your face to shine, and we shall be saved. We all want the face of God to shine upon us. We want to see the face of God in everything we do, in our lives, in our jobs, in our finances. We want the face of God to shine upon us and bless that thing up for us. But what happens when you continue to see faceless people in your dream? I mean, recurrent dreams of you seeing people with no faces all the time in your dream coming to attack you they come to attack you they come to sleep with you they come to steal your glory they come to steal your spiritual gift they come to to, to, to steal your virtues they come to attack your marriage they just come to do bad things to you those are not uh, 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 dreams from God those are demonic dreams I always say that the Spirit of God does not come with fear. The Spirit of God comes to you whether in dreams or in real life or in just a spiritual knowing. The Spirit of God speaks to you. It brings peace into your life. It brings, it, bring, it brings joy. It brings direction. Please share. Please share. Please share everybody. Hello. Hello. Precious. Miss Benny. Glory unto you. And those other people who are there, share, please share, please share. Let us talk about this. Because this happened to me for years. This was a battle that I faced for many years. You constantly see faceless people in your dream. They come to attack you. They they do they, they even you, you you even have that horrible dream of a faceless person somebody coming to sleep with you in your dream but the face is hollow sometimes you see like a big dark hole in the face you have no idea who this person is you have no idea what us or who is causing this today we're gonna talk about this most of the time those are familiar faces where you have those dreams constantly those are people you know most of the, in fact, just about all the time, they come to you in your dream. Sometimes you see somebody chasing you with a knife. You see somebody tying you down or tying your children or your wife or your husband. You see uh, some, sometimes they come um, uh, half human, half animal, but the worst part, you don't see the human, you don't see the face. You see the animal part. And they're doing all kind of evil things to you in your dreams. Let me tell you, the, it is people you know. It is people you know, number one reason why such dreams occur. Number one, there are many other reasons, but number one reason why such dreams occur. Let me put this thing down a little bit. Put this down a little bit. God bless you. Please share, please share, please share. Holy Spirit worship page also you can go to youtube holy spirit uh, worship is also on youtube and the lord almighty bless you as you share in the name of jesus christ god bless you god bless you so as i was saying you constantly having those dreams a lot of the topics that i talk about that i will bring here a lot of them are things that i battled with for years until the lord almighty delivered me uh, one way or the other by using uh, uh, sons and daughters that he has used to deliver me and bless me I've also received deliverances in my dreams uh, so today I am talking about uh, recurrent dreams of faceless people you always see people with no face coming to attack you in your dreams coming to fight you coming to, to, to even bite you. 
sometimes you see uh, a faceless person but the rest of the body comes like a, a dog or some other animal to sleep with you those are evil and demonic most of the time those are the kind of dreams that bring fibroids and barrenness to women those are the kind of evil dreams that attack your ministry they attack your health they come somebody coming just uh, being faceless to come and sleep with you there's nothing good coming out of that but to bring all kind of sickness into your life so if you are a woman they want to bring a uh, fibroid into your life they want to bring bring a uh, childlessness into your life they come to attack you your, your take steal your glory they come to attack your health sleep uh, somebody having no face you seeing them all the time in your dream coming to sleep with you coming to do all kind of things to you in your dream it is evil and demonic and let me tell you the number one reason why such dreams occur there are people that you know they are your good friends they are family members who have evil demonic powers they are that evil uncle it could even be a female it could even be that your evil auntie who has evil witchcraft marine powers they change to some faceless creature to come and sleep with you in your dreams to come and attack your business to come and attack your marriage attack your glory it is evil it does not come with anything good all it does is to satan only comes to steal kill and destroy please share everybody i see people are coming in please share place your comments if you've had such dream that relate to uh such th uh, this topic please you can inbox me or put it in the comment section and um we'll talk about it you can inbox me um if you wish for me to i have called some pe a few uh, some people as, as the spirit of god lead me to do and also prayed with them concerning this particular thing because this thing happened to me for many years people being faceless coming to fight me attack me even sleep with me for years it was horrible until the lord almighty delivered me from such things i pray you receive your deliverance today in the name of jesus christ i pray you will receive your deliverance from this evil demonic dream today in the mighty name of jesus christ so as i was saying number one reason why such dreams occur they are people that you know your family members evil family members that have evil demonic spirits hello my sweet doctor <laughs> my beautiful doctor cc echo how are you my love how are you sweetie ah uh, how are uh, my, my my beautiful children your you know your husband everybody uh as i was saying please share please share may the lord almighty continue to teach us and guide us and direct us on how to deal with all these evil demonic people evil demonic dreams in the name of jesus christ so number one reason why you have such dreams there are people that you know your friends your family they are familiar people to you so they come into you to attack you but they're using a, face, a faceless shield you will see you will see somebody standing but your face is hollow. The face is all black and dark. Sometimes you will see a, a big hole in the middle of the head, face. But you see the rest of the body. They can even have a faceless uh, being. They will, be, they will have an, a body of an animal coming to, to bite you. Do all kinds of things to you. They only come to steal, kill, and destroy. They come to give you all kinds of sicknesses in your dreams. They come to steal your gifts, spiritual, physical gifts. All of a sudden, as those dreams begin to occur, you will see that those good things that you were doing that were, that were good to you physically, financially, spiritually, you will see begin to go down. Your prayer life begins to go down. They do that to attack your prayer life. Because your prayer is working, is doing something to them. So they come in that way to come and attack you. Before you know it, you, you, you see you don't want to pray anymore. You don't want to fast anymore. So number one is people that you know. When you begin to have such dreams, I'm not saying be paranoid and begin to suspect everybody you know. We go, as, as we are going through, we also have 
know how to deal with this. The Lord Almighty will reveal them to you in the name of Jesus Christ. The way God revealed my those evil people that were doing such things to me, it was a big revelation. By the time God began to deliver me, I pray the Lord will deliver you today from faceless people coming to attack you in your dreams in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please share. May God bless you as you share. Number two. Number two reason why such things happen. Some ancestral powers, ancestral spirits in your family, in your village, they still lay claim to you. They still lay hold to you. They, they still don't let you go because of some, 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 some evil sacrifice or some legal rights that way back long time ago when you probably were not even born, your great-grandparents, they, 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 they went to do some sacrifice and they dedicate because that was all they knew. They didn't know Christ. All they knew was to serve those uh, uh, idols. So they dedicated their family to them. You say, where we now as Christians, we go to church, we are surrendered to you, my Lord Jesus, save me, I surrender my family. And the same way those forefathers, grandfathers, parents, even your parents, that's how they were doing too. Because all they knew was those idols, and they believed those idols are uh, 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 saving them. So what did they do? But to dedicate their families, their children, their finances to them. But they don't know that such things in time to come will affect you, will affect your, their children, their grandchildren in, 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 in such a manner. Uh, give me a minute. I'm trying to look for a nice worship song. Or worship just tend to just worship is something. I'm a worship and prayer minister. I give God praise. I give God honor. Uh, let me put this on. Thank you, Jesus, for this. And Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Steve Crown. I like this. Steve. I like Steve Crown. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> number two, the most reasons people you know. Second reason, number two, those ancestral shrines, ancestral spirit that your fathers, your forefathers used to worship, used to serve, that they have dedicated their life, their generations to. At that time, those years when they were worshiping those things, not knowing that years to come. That thing is going to become a big problem to their grandchildren, their great great grandchildren. That, you know, bring all kind of things to the family. But even if it is even those ancestral spirits, self that won't even pay pay you as much as that person that is coming to use a faceless uh, image to sleep with you. Could even be one small boy in your neighborhood. One small boy in, in who in real life will see you and say good good morning ma good evening ma. It could be some useless ugly dirty thing, right around your street, that in real life cannot even look at you in your face, but in the dream at night they will turn to some. I watched I I, I watched I watched a deliverance one time on Prophet uh, T B Joshua a uh, ministry where one looks scrawny looking boy. Who, who, who was uh, into all those fetish things, confessed to actually going to sleep with women, men or women in their dreams, you know, using people to cover or faceless people to cover. Sometimes they can also use the face of somebody that you know to cover. Sometimes they can come as, a, as, a, as an animal. They can come as a dog. They can come as a cat in your dream to attack you. As long as you do not recognize that person that is coming to do that to you, it is called faceless people. Whichever way they come to you, as long as they're trying to use something else to cover so you don't recognize them, it is called faceless people. What do they come to do? They are sometimes they are also marine powers. Maybe you had a uh, you had a relationship, uh, you dated somebody in your past. Who is possessed by marine powers or evil demonic witchcraft powers? They don't want to. You have broken up with that person. They know that physically they can never get you back. 
So what do they do spiritually? Because they possess those evil spirits, evil powers. They start using those demonic powers to come to you in your dreams. To sleep with you, to attack you, to fight you, to steal your progress, steal your success. They don't want you to move forward in life. They want to use it to hold you back. And as long as they continue to have that connection to you spiritually, they will continue to hold you back one way or the other in some areas in your life that you will not move forward. And the worst part, most of the time, you don't even know them unless the Holy Spirit begins to, to reveal them to you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When such dreams are occurring, most of the time, what do you begin to experience? Most of the time, they come with a lot of sickness. Sometimes it's not like, uh, like something major. It could just be some little, little thing, but there are, so, there, are, there are some sickness that will just hold you back. I know they come with a lot of fibroids for women. They come to attack a woman's marriage. Most of the time, a woman that is expressing such things, all you express in your marriage is constant fight, no love from your husband. A man that is expressing such dreams is constant fight, no love from your wife. All you see is, 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 a, is a negative uh, things in your marriage. It can also affect uh, people not to have children. It can affect people not to progress in their business. Because some faceless creature, some faceless person has been coming to have a, a, all kind of spiritual encounters with them in their dreams. Because in real life, they cannot face you because you know them. You know these people in real life. When the Lord Almighty continue to help us and protect us and deliver us from these evil, evil dreams in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. So what, what, what are the way out for this? How do we deal with this? What, how do we, what do we do to prevent such things from happening anymore? First, you have to give your life to Christ. You have to, are you still going to visit uh, shrines? Are you still going to visit, a lot of times, those shrines that you also go to visit, where you look, you try to look for solution. Because that's probably, that is what you know. That is what you think will help you. Uh, somebody say, ah, let me take you to this place. Uh, it will help you. And you go visit those places. And then more spirits enter you again from those places. So first thing you have to do is to give your life to Christ. Surrender all your life. Surrender everything about you to Christ in truth and in faith. Do not serve God with one hand and serve God and not serve another uh, another uh, uh, deity on the other hand. You cannot combine darkness and light. That is impossible. Darkness and light cannot be combined. Hallelujah. You have to try your best to stay away from such uh, uh, a scene, such things. Uh, also, sometimes look at your circle of friends. Look at your circle. Look at the people around. Not it could not even not even only be friends. Even family members. Who are you talking to? Who do you speak to? Sometimes you have a uh, you, you confide in somebody about a plan about something that you are about to do. Before you know it, that same night or within a few nights, you will see that faceless a faceless person come and come and you know either have intercourse with you or attack you, fight you in your dreams. If you if you if you constantly notice that each time you talk to this person, or it could even be your mother. It could even be your mother you confide in. It could be your father. There have been many, many confessions of fathers confessing that they were using demonic powers to go and attack their children. Or mothers saying they were using their evil powers to go and attack their children. It could be your sister. It could be anybody covering, using facelessness to come and attack you, uh, sleep with you. Because, so, because they don't want you to know who it is in real life. They don't want you to know who this who, who this person is. May the Lord Almighty reveal them to you in the name of Jesus Christ. The way God revealed to me who was doing and what was doing all those things, the Lord Almighty will reveal to you 
who and what has been coming to your dreams to attack you using faceless beings in the name of Jesus Christ. So what do we do? First of all, give your life to Christ. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the light. Do not go to church here and tomorrow you go and visit some other, you know what I mean, go and visit some other place for looking for solution. Secondly, learn to pray for yourself. Learn to pray. It's good to have a, a big church, a church where you go, that is, some churches are very prayerful and strong. But what happens after you have gone to church, your man or woman of God have laid hands on you, have delivered you? What happens? You live there, you go back, you yourself, you don't develop a prayer life. You don't have your own personal time with God. You have to develop your own personal prayer life. You have to develop your own personal fasting life where you have communication, private communication with God and begin to lay all these problems to the Lord Almighty. Prayer point, let us pray. Today we're going to pray the name of Jesus Christ. Prayer point number one, wherever you are, if you are dealing with this problem, if you have this issue of uh, somebody coming to, to attack you with facelessness, I want you to pray this with me. The first one, you know, confess your sins to God. Only God is the one that can save us, no other person. Okay, I grew up in idol worshiping. Okay, but today, here I am. I don't do that no more. For the blood of Jesus set me free. Please share. Please share. God bless you. So prayer point number one, if you are dealing with this issue of uh, uh, faceless people coming to sleep with you, coming to attack you, coming to uh, destroy your plans, prayer point number one, repeat after me wherever you are and make this a regular prayer point. And as you do, God will begin to add more, add more prayer points to you concerning this, the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will, you, you, will, you will combat and defeat and destroy those demons that are coming to attack you in your dreams. In Jesus' name. Oh Lord, my Father, reveal to me who or what is using facelessness to appear in my dreams. Prayer point number one. Oh Lord, my Father, reveal to me who or what is using facelessness to appear in my dreams. Repeat that wherever you are. Oh Lord, my Father, reveal to me who or what is using facelessness to appear in my dreams. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, my Father, reveal to me who or what is using facelessness to appear to me in my dreams in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, repeat this prayer point. The name of Jesus Christ. Prayer point number two. Evil friends, evil family, who pretend to be my friend but are coming to hide, to destroy, to attack me and frustrate me in my dreams. Father, Lord God Almighty, destroy them in the name of Jesus Christ. That evil friend, that evil family member who pretending to love me, who pretending to be my friend, but come to me in my dreams, using facelessness to cover, to come and attack me, to come and steal from me. Father, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Frustrate them, disgrace them, frustrate them, disgrace them, destroy them in the name of Jesus Christ. Make that your prayer point number two. I will post this prayer point when I'm done. I'll post them so that you can have them. And the Lord Almighty will also add to them, to you. So you to combat these demons, these evil people that come to you in your dreams. Using people to cover, using faith, whole offices, that means to cover, to come and attack you in the name of Jesus Christ. They will conquer them in Jesus' name. If I, I dealt with this for years, so I know what I'm talking about. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Prayer point number three. Marine powers, ancestral powers that I have been dedicated to by my fathers, by my mothers, by my grandfathers, by my forefathers, 
Father, Lord, deliver me from them. Father, deliver me from them. Deliver me from marine powers, marine powers, witchcraft powers that I was dedicated to without my knowledge. Father, Lord, deliver me from them. Deliver me from them. In the name of Jesus Christ, deliver me from ancestral powers. Deliver me from marine powers that I was dedicated to by my parents, by my grandparents, by my forefathers. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, deliver me. In the name of Jesus that's prayer point number three. Prayer point number four. Father Lord, oh Lord my Father, empower me. Empower me to conquer and subdue and destroy that thing, that man, that demon that come to me in my dream to attack me using faithlessness. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father Lord, empower me to conquer them, to destroy them. In the name of Jesus, Father, empower me to conquer them and destroy them. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm only giving four prayer points here, so the videos, I don't like to do overly long videos, but I'll post more prayer points concerning this issue of uh, uh, people coming to appear to you in your dreams. Use Oh, my uh, my lovely auntie, Auntie Lyo, I greet you. I greet you all watching right now. Please share. May the Lord Almighty bless you as you share in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are having issues with uh, uh, faceless people coming to to you in your dreams uh, to sleep with you to attack you to fight you to bite you to steal from sometimes you will see somebody will be sticking hands in your pocket in your wallet taking your money but you are seeing that happening but you're looking at the face the face is hollow they, that's it they have come to just steal your finance they have come to destroy your finance right there so they, they don't only come to sleep with you they come using facelessness using other things to cover face to attack us, attack our finance. You probably might even see a faceless woman, a woman standing beside your husband in your dream, uh, in your dream, but it's faceless. Or a woman laying in bed with your husband in your dream, but you don't see the face of that person. It doesn't mean that your husband is physically cheating on you. Most of the time, it just means that someplace in the marine kingdom, Someplace in the witchcraft kingdom, they have assigned an evil woman to your husband that to come to, to be destroying your marriage so that you and your husband will be fighting, quarreling, doing all kinds of things to do everything to destroy your marriage. That is what such dreams indicate. You see your child, your child is in your dream, is sitting down. There's somebody sitting next to him or her. It's fair. You, can't, you can't figure out the face of the person. And the person snatched your child's book. Your, your child is trying to study. The person, you just see that face, the person snatched your child's book from your child. That's it. They have, they have come to do that to attack your child's education, to steal your child's knowledge, to steal your child's brain. So your child who is an all A straight A student, all of a sudden they begin to go down in their academics. The Lord Almighty will destroy those demons in the name of Jesus Christ. So I have said four prayer points before I started with this now. I'm going to post more prayer points concerning this particular problem that I dealt with for years, which I bring to you now. I'm not hiding. The Bible says, for we overcame the enemy by the word of our mind, uh, by, by the blood of the Lamb, and with the word of our testimonies. A lot of us believers, we are so ashamed, so embarrassed to give testimonies publicly of what the Lord has done for us. God, deliver me from so much demonic powers. I have no shame. I have no fear talking about it proper, uh, uh, publicly. Actually, my in my programs, I talk about these things. God bless you, everybody. Please share. Please share. May the Lord Almighty deliver us from evil demonic spirits. May the Lord Almighty deliver us from evil family members, evil friends who pretend to be friends to us in real life. But in a dream, they come to attack us. They come to, to, to prevent us from reaching our, our glorious destiny. 
May the Lord Almighty destroy them. You demon coming to attack the uh, attack us in our dreams. I command you to die. Die by fire of the Holy Ghost. I said die by fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, that evil friend. Uh, that evil family member. Be disgraced. Uh, be exposed. Uh, be embarrassed. Be toppled. In the name of Jesus Christ. You ref if you refuse to stop. Die by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't pray lukewarm prayers. I cannot pray good prayers for my enemy. If you go to a church where they say, don't pray against demons, don't pray against witches, be very careful. Be very careful. They suffer not the wish to die. Excuse me, suffer not the wish to live. That is what the Bible says. Those demons coming to attack you in your dreams. The fire of the Holy Ghost descend upon them now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those evil people that come to attack you. Those evil friends. Evil family. Those ancestral shrines that are coming to you in your dreams. Using facelessness to cover. Father and the Lord, we, our Father and Lord, we, uh, Father, our, our Lord Jesus, we expose them. We destroy them in the name of Jesus. They will come to their knees. They will fall on their face in disgrace, in shame, in the name of Jesus. God bless you, everybody. Oh my God, my favorite song just came in. Take your glory. I'm satisfied to see you glorified. Hallelujah. Take the stage, Lord. Ask God to take the stage in your life. Hallelujah. I'm only a vessel and nothing more. When you're done, take your glory, take your glory, take your glory. I'm satisfied to see you glorified. Thank you. God bless you, everybody. Don't forget to share. If you're dealing with this issue, like I said, message me. We will talk about this. We will pray about this. In the name of Jesus, say where two or three are gathered, the Lord is there. The Lord is there. Don't be deceived by people who say, ah, Facebook, uh, everybody who talk about God on Facebook. God is, not, God is on Facebook. God is everywhere. God is everywhere. The first time I spoke in tongues and became filled with the Holy Spirit and spiritually charged that I have, I have been doing now for how long now. I was watching somebody on Facebook. So God is everywhere. God can use any, anything, anyone, anywhere to touch you and deliver you. May the Lord Almighty deliver us from evil demonic powers who come to want to attack us in our dreams. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Please share.